Yes, 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 yes. KTT episode 4.5. I'm Drift. I'm joined by my co-host and my dog. Blackstar. Call me Zero. And today's going to be a slightly different one. You know what I'm saying? Today's mm-hmm. going to be a slightly different one. We're not really going to be talking about anime as a whole because we're going to keep it really focused on a particular anime. You know what I'm saying? And for us, it's been a very impactful one since like childhood. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. So to the uninitiated, but it's kind of hard to not know if you're in the anime space. Akira Toriyama has passed away on March 1st. That is the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and basically, like, I mean, the OG of all of that to people like me. You feel me? Like Shonen. Mm. You feel me? So today we're just going to have a little discussion about what Dragon Ball meant to us individually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just kind of have a discussion about his work and the impact that it's had on not just us, but others. You feel me? So... I'm going to let my dog Zero take hold of the discussion. You feel me? Mm. So, yeah, obviously, sad news. Toriyama passing away. He was only 68. Uh, Not really going to get into the cause of death. That's not, you know, not really why we're here today. It's just to kind of look back on the series, the Dragon Ball series as a whole, and, you know, kind of just talk about, like my boy said, you know, what the series meant to us. Growing up, you know, um, you probably hear a lot of man saying it, um, since last Friday. So, you know, he passed away on the on March 1st. We didn't find out until like the 7th or the 8th, I believe, um, like a week after. And I absolutely respect that. We didn't need to know straight away. We didn't need to be like, you know, informed right away. And, and, and everybody starts, you know, speculating and all that kind of nonsense. You know, something like that didn't happen. Just like, let it, you know, let the family and, and, and the friends, you know, deal with that and process that first. And then, you know, we, the fans, you know, we can make aware and then we can kind of process it and grieve in our own way. And I got to say, I'm moved by all the um, posts I've seen. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Yes, and posts I've seen um, on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit. Like, I've really seen a community of people come together to, like, celebrate the life of this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it Bro. really has been humbling. Like, Bro. really has been humbling. I'm like, it's not just me. Not just us. You feel not me? Just us. Definitely not just me. Not just us, bro. Definitely not just us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see a whole community of people hurting right now. The whole planet. You know what I mean? A, like, whole, a whole planet. Whole... I'm not trying to, like, make it sound like, you know, he's bigger than he actually is. But, fam... Damn near six continents worth of people are grieving right now. You know what I'm saying? There's seven on the planet, not include I'm not counting Antarctica. So every other continent, there's some form of grieving right now because Akira Toriyama passed away. You understand? Um, and to the people who have seen like fans of Dragon Ball grieving and like been confused as to why like there's been so much of it on social media hey look fuck you (laughs) you know what i'm saying you don't really need to understand why it's impacted like the fan base the way it has type shit you feel me Mm -hmm. because i have seen like dickheaded comments here and there regarding it but obviously like of course we aren't really trying to focus on that you feel me Mm. but really and truly it has been humbling to see exactly how many people have come together to show like their appreciation i'm talking on like a corporate level right the way down you feel me Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. i've seen a lot of people a lot of different entities step forward to say yo that man's work has impacted me us a whole generation you know what i'm saying like it's really generational fucking work. generations my guy generations generational fucking work but yeah no just wanted to chime in with that real real quick you get me you were saying though yeah um i mean you're right about the corporations i was surprised to see bbc covering it mm. you know what I'm saying? like major news um, networks covering and everything like that boy but yeah so um what i was gonna say is that you probably heard like this particular phrase from a couple other people on youtube as well but it is just so true it just can't be understated Without Dragon Ball, there'd be probably be no KTT. There'd probably be no Black Star. That's a fact. Nigga. You understand? It just wouldn't happen. Like that's a fact. If you look at most of my pages or you know whatever, the first post is always gonna be something about Dragon Ball. 
because Dragon Ball inspired all of it. All of it. You understand? I got introduced to Dragon Ball when I was around 10. You understand? So 20 odd years ago now, carbonate myself a touch boy, but 20 odd years ago now. You understand? 10 years old, I haven't seen an episode. You understand? The kids just come to school and everybody's talking about this show, Dragon Ball. You understand? And I'm hearing all this stuff about like them firing um like lasers out their hands and flying and like I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. You understand? So I'm sticking close and I'm listening to what they're saying and you know, um everybody's drawing and stuff like that, you know. So that's kind of where my interest in like art and drawing also stem from. Dragon Ball. Used to draw that shit when we were children, you know what I'm saying? I'm not lying. Like the first drawings I ever started to produce were drawings of Dragon Ball Z. Well, Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like drawings of Dragon Ball Z. I am not lying. But again, me chiming in. Continue. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, feel free, brother. Um, you probably already see, you probably seen um, you know, um, pictures online for like Super Saiyan six or whatever. You understand? Know and all that would be was just like some Super Saiyan 3, like a page full of hair. <laughs> all of that. You, hey, you remember them? Like, all yeah, of that. Like, yeah, like yeah. the entire page be nothing but hair. You understand? Because yeah. the more powerful he get, the longer his hair gets for some reason. Because it was fun to like do shit like that with Dragon Ball Z. You feel me? Because, hey, it was just fun to joke and imagine. Like, if Super Saiyan 1, his hair turns like that. Super Saiyan 2, his hair turns like that. Super Saiyan 3, his hair gets super long. Why would his hair not be like a page continuously worth of, growing you know in it? Like, yeah, like, like just like grows and grows and grows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you know? for each number, and it's dumb little shit like that that people in the community like to do. You mm-hmm. get me? So that's why, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah but, but, yeah. it's been such a massive part of my life. I remember combing the internet looking for any news about like a new series. This is when like AF, you know, mm-hmm. with the rumors with AF were all we really had. You know, saying that picture of the white here, Goku. Uh, and all of that, like that's all we had. AF is coming. AF is coming. It'll come. You know, they just bullshit you, bullshit you, bullshit you. You know, and you comb it. I remember, um, you know, uh, and I'm not the only one. I think somebody else mentioned this as well. So you know, um, not everybody will understand your love for a particular thing. You understand? And in those teenage years, you're supposed to kind of, um, as some people say, you put those kind of things aside. So you put your cartoon, your childish things aside, and you move on to other things. So while most of the boys in my class were like focused on like football and, 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 you know, they could name every player and what match happened and all that kind of shit. I couldn't give a fuck. Same on mine, G. Same on mine. You know on. I couldn't give a fuck. The only thing I was thinking about was like, bro, like next episode of Dragon Ball, you know, finding pictures of Dragon Ball to like draw, use for reference and all that kind of stuff. Like that was, that was my whole thing. I was known as the Dragon Ball guy at school. Literally the same. Literally you know the same. Like I was known as a Dragon Ball guy at school. Like my whole thing, personality basically, was just Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, you know, you kind of want to keep that shit like toned down when you're in environments like that. But that's just how it was when day. We didn't have like internet and TikTok and um, Facebook and YouTube. You know what I'm We didn't have the communities we have now. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody else around you didn't fuck with Dragon Ball like that, you didn't really have a community. You know what I'm saying? And not everybody had internet like right off the jump back in like the early 2000s. Like it was a gradual process. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So like for a while there, we didn't even have internet at home. So I couldn't be like looking up anything. You know, I have to go internet cafe and and all them kind of things there. So I say all that to kind of say like, like this series um, has been a major part of my life and I absolutely see it continuing to do so that's going forward that is a fact that is a fact you know what I'm saying? it absolutely is going to be a major part going forward um when the news when i when i saw the tweet that toriyama died my first thought you know after it's like oh you know toriyama's gone mm. it was like all right we have these two series left we have super and we have daima you know what I'm saying? super is now continuing we finally moved past the superhero stuff um, and I had my grabs with that, you know, I made that known in a video some months ago. Like I didn't like the way that the series was going, but I understand that they're just giving themselves some time to, you know, work on the newer story beats and stuff like that. Um, and then there's Daima also not super enthused about the fact that Goku and the chaos got reverted back to their chibi, you know, child versions, but I'm willing to give the series a chance to, you know, show me what it's got, show me what Toriyama had in, um, had been stored for us. That's like the only reason why I'm 
sorry. Let me get my <laughs> let me get my shit together. And by my shit, my I, I like I mean my English. Um, that's like the only reason I can see myself sitting down to watch Daima. I can't lie to you. I saw somebody say it online, and they were like, "I'm gonna watch Daima because it's the last thing that Toriyama did." And I was like, "Damn." Okay, mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna have to go and watch that because mm-hmm. it was the last thing you actually did. Mm-hmm. I can already confidently tell you though, I will likely dislike it. I'm I'm gonna have to put it on wax. I'm gonna put it out there from now. I'm likely going to dislike it. I'm not gonna go into it hoping to dislike it, but it's just with my sensibilities and with what I wanted from Dragon Ball Z next. Daima just doesn't look like it's going to be it. Mm-hmm. But out of respect for the last piece of work that the man created, I will actually watch it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even if it's not to my particular preferences. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's all good. That's all fine, man. For me, of course, you brought the news to me. I can't lie to you. I was on the bus and my brain didn't even go to Super, Daima, shit like that. Like, I know, I know what mm. you like, why yours did. I know the type of shit you were thinking about during. You get yeah. me? But for me, it was more so the instant. It was like a like like a wave hit me. Like it was like an instant realization that a significant part of my childhood was now, like it was immortalized mm-hmm. in time because mm-hmm. nothing else can be added to it. Truly, mm-hmm. do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like the mind behind it is now gone. And I suppose the only other community, I'm not gonna say the only other community, but the community it's a man that on know, the top of my head, couple man that know what we're going through. Berserk, you know what I'm saying? Like, like off the top Yu-Gi-Oh of my head, as well. like Yu Gi Oh. You know what I'm saying? So. I suppose I now understand how those communities felt. Right. You, understand? you, you know thought you did initially. Like, yeah, yeah. You understand? Like, but when it actually happened to your yo, series creator, like, it, feels, it feels... It feels different. Because it forces you to sit down and really understand like the work that that person made, you now have to enjoy it as it is. Like Even if you give it to somebody else to do, no, no shade to who's going to do it next. To a Tyra, to a Tyra. No shade to the man. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it does... For some, it doesn't take away from the fact that you recognize that the original mind behind the work mm-hmm. is gone. Yes. There is a particular flavor, a particular style, a particular touch mm-hmm. of Dragon Ball Z that you're no longer gonna get. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. You can replicate his work. You can you can make it look as close to Toriyama's work as mm-hmm. you want. It will still be respectable looking Dragon Ball Z going forward. Yeah. It's too profitable, like too profitable for it not to be. Mm-hmm. You get me? But it's just when you enjoy it on the levels that we enjoyed it on, and I don't want to say it that way because I know it will give wrong people the like the wrong idea. Like you're looking at it too philosophically. No, it's not that. It's just when you appreciate a piece of art, which is what Dragon Ball Z is. Damn you know straight. When you appreciate a piece of art, you appreciate how the art was made. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for me, when I was made um, aware of his passing, that's kind of the first thing that my mind went to. You know what I'm saying? I was like, the art is forever changed. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily for the worst, right? but the art is forever changed. Right. You feel me? So and that's, that's kind that's, of my takeaway. That's something that kind of nags at me, isn't it? Like, um, you know I me, mean? I don't really particularly dwell on the canon, non-canon argument too, too much. You understand? Obviously, in this space, doing this, so, you know, you're doing podcasting, you're doing YouTube, you want to have your facts as accurate as possible. You understand? So in that regard, I understand the argument around canon. You understand? Um, But, like, I just had this sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach that basically, going forward, everything's going to be, like, trashed and dismissed. Like, it's not Toriyama's work. He's not there. You understand? Like, I am going to, bro, I'm going to lash out at you so fucking hard when people start doing that bullshit, bro. I'm telling you. You're gonna hear from me, like I just allow it. You nah, understand? Man. Air it out, cause you, get you understand. Like, I fucking allow it, bro. You understand? So my hopes for it going forward is that you know um, Toriyama at least had the endings for these things planned out, and they can maybe work backwards from that to give us content. But like he had the vision for the end of it, and we're gonna work to that, All right? Um, so that's for Diamond and for Super. And yeah, man, it's I don't know. It's it's still sort of not real for me. You know what I'm saying? I've like, seen that but, online as well. I've seen people say exactly that. Mm-hmm. I've seen like people say exactly that. Like it doesn't feel real. You know what I'm saying? And don't get mm-hmm. me wrong. On the day I was told, I went through a range of emotions. I'm right. not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like 
a good portion of my day just felt kind of off. Even a portion of the day after mm-hmm. felt kind of off. Like right. anytime I thought about Dragon Ball Z, it was like for the first time in my life, I was trying to avoid Dragon Ball Z, which mm. is weird. And I don't know why I knew why I was doing. Bro, because... like two days before we were watching Dragon Ball. No, I mean, yeah. You, like the irony, so like... you get me? Like the irony of like just two days before we were watching it, then that happened. And I'm like, damn. Anytime I thought about Dragon Ball Z, I was just like, damn, the mind behind it is now gone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And for the first time in my life, I went to actually avoid watching Dragon Ball Z simply because I knew watching it would mm-hmm. instantly draw my mind back to the fact that the mind's gone. You get me? Mm-hmm. But within that, within that, you pay your respects, mm-hmm. continue to enjoy, like continue to enjoy the work. What else can you do? You feel no, me? Not just much. pay your respect. Pay your respects. Mm. Continue to enjoy sure the work. Can, we can only really hope that, look, the series is in good hands going forward. All right? We can only hope that, you know, Toei don't try to milk the series into the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, just have a clear plan for what you want to do with this and treat it properly. Um, and I hope that Toyotoro has, like, full backing and support going forward to, like, you know, develop his own creative ideas or whatever. I really have no idea how it's going to go with that. You understand? Like, a part of me wants to say, um, you know, whatever we're doing in Super now, speaking specifically to Super, whatever we're doing in Super now, wrap it up and tie it into the end of Z. Just keep that intact. You understand? But at the same time, um, we've had almost, what, 10 years now a Dragon Ball Super. I don't feel like we can ever, you know, neatly tie that into the end of Z. There's just so many differences already between where Goku, Vegeta and crew were after the Boo fight versus where we are right now. Beast Gohan, Blue, Beerus, Whis, you know, and so many different things. Um, so, you know, I hope that whatever um, they have in store next, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully Toyota, um, not Toyota, Toriyama um, oversaw some of that, you know what I'm saying? Signed off on a lot of it. Um, also hoping that um, Toyotaro was, you know, had stuff like well ahead. And also that stuff, got, that stuff got, got kind of like signed off by Toriyama and then, you know, we take it from there. But yeah, no, I just kind of wanted to just, you know, give my two cents on, you know, Toriyama passing, Akira Toriyama passing, I'm going to use his full name, be respectful. Um, the series that he produced had such a huge and profound impact on my life. You know what I'm saying? I just had to say something. Um, you know, I had to just put it on wax my thoughts and feelings and, you know, my appreciation for what he has produced and what it means to me and a whole lot of other people um, around the world. And, you know, like, thank you, Toriyama. You know, you will be missed. In terms of values and, like, perspective and outlook, you literally gave birth to a whole generation of men. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. a whole generation of men. Like you can look at Vegeta and understand as a man two things. The importance of your pride and the importance of understanding how much it can hold you back. And that's just one character from the show. Right. You feel yeah, me? Man. There's so that's much. Just, to, like, it's there's, it's there's more a lot than just can, surface level stuff. There's a lot you can extract from it. You feel me? But we won't let this go for too long. You get me, Rick? Because this isn't a, a full-fledged podcast. We really just wanted to sit down and have a discussion and celebrate the life that that man has lived and the amount of lives that his work has impacted. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, like my dog Zero said, Toriyama, Akira Toriyama, let me use his name, be respectful. Thank you. You will be missed. And to Toyotaro, I only hope that, like, don't let the pressures of holding up that franchise crush you, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's good enough. It will always be good enough. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I know how toxic a community can get at times. Hold your head. Mm. Hold your head up high. You feel me? Hold your head up high. Mm-hmm. Not just him, but to every member of the community right now. And the Toriyama family as well. Deepest condolences. Like, deepest condolences. But with that, I feel like we've both said what we said. This is going to be KTT episode 4.5. I've been Drift. And I'm Zero. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next pod.